Hello and welcome back to Tunic. Uh, last episode we um, activated w one of the hero shrines and got back our health. Um, this episode I'm just gonna teleport on these pads all over and see how many of these hero shrines we can find and try to restore our fox hood, our fox. Our foxiness remove the ghost form and um, we'll see what happens I don't think this is where I wanted to be so we'll do this again I do think I have a little map let's check it out man. yeah I want to see this that's the town ruins okay I guess we'll just Kinda go to all of them? I mean, what's this thing? I can't, I don't really remember what this is. But we'll check it out. I bet there's one there somewhere. Oh, is, is this one right here? Or is that just a bonfire? It's just a bonfire, but I'm gonna rest. Um, I did some, some looking into uh, some stuff with this game. Oh, what the heck? The air, defeat. Holy Cross. Yeah, I want the Holy Cross, alright? There might not be one here. I don't really remember this area all that much. I think we blew past it quite pretty quick. I don't really remember how we even got up here. I remember a boss being, like, on top of the tower. Um, so yeah, I did a little digging into this game, and, uh, I found that there are some secrets in this game that are far more, what did I just see? Is that a chest? The, the secrets are far more complex and deep than I think I realized, or ever would have realized without seeing some external resources. There are some really, really complex puzzles and secrets and stuff going on with this game. Oh, I remember this. Aha. So we snagged onto that thing. I don't think we can... Oh. Okay. I don't remember if there's a heroes thing here at all. Um, and I'm not sure that, like, in this playthrough, I'm really interested in figuring out those secrets. Um, there's a lot of them, and I think it would be a lot of, like, looking at guides and then looking back at the game. And I just don't think there are really things I could have... Oh, my God. Okay, we'll explore this area just for a sec. I'm not totally sure there's one here. Um, I think the the process of uncovering these secrets and stuff would just be really like cumbersome, um, especially in this in this format. Um, but I'm considering potentially setting something up where like I would stream for a couple hours this game and um, and just blow through some of those secrets and stuff if if that's something I want to do. Otherwise. Um, I would just, uh... I'm just gonna leave if I can. Okay, I'm not sure I can. Oh, there's two of them? There's absolutely no way I'm fighting those guys. I also don't think there's anywhere I can go in that room. All right, I'm gonna leave for now. I'm gonna leave this place. I don't think I can kill those two guys. I, I, I'm not sure it's possible. <laughs> maybe you get something cool for it or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to come back and do it. But let's just, let's just do something else for now. Is this one just not activated? Oh man. I do think there's one back under this, isn't there? 
Am I crazy? Huh. I can't get to this one out here. Can I? Maybe I can. Where does this take us? Yeah, so I might I might stream some tunic for a couple hours and um is this just the beginning of the game? I think it is. And um and do some of those secrets and stuff if I feel like it. Man, how did we get to the sword spot? Where did we go to get the sword? I do not remember. Okay, so like this is one of those secrets that I saw. And it's really complicated and weird. You have to enter like a like a very specific D-pad combination to get the door to open. And I'm just not sure I can do it without the internet. Oh my goodness. So I was looking at the lines of the wall and I was following the lines and pushing in the D-pad the directions of the lines. But I'm not even really sure what I get from this. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so there's a bunch of these little secret treasure things all over that you have to find these areas and input this very specific D-pad combination in to be able to get through these doors. And some of them look really, really difficult. Like, some of them are just stuff that I, like, for real, never would have seen in probably thousands of hours in the game. So, like, this one, I have no idea. I just did the, the pattern on the door again. That's good. Whoops. So, I wonder if there's a, there's got to be something more in there than than that, huh? Or is that it? I guess the little card thing is pretty good. Um so yeah, so that's an example of some of this the intense secrets that are in this game. And there's like probably 20 of these things where you have to find specific areas and input specific d-pad combinations and i don't know it's just kind of intense and then there's like fairies so there are these trophy things right but then there are also fairies and the fairies like allow you to i don't even know and they're hard to find so i might i might do a stream where we do that I'm thinking about maybe like streaming once a week or something and, and potentially playing some, some indie games um, and maybe just doing stuff like that where I'll play the game that I'm playing on YouTube, but do some of the more tedious stuff um, that I don't want to do on YouTube. We went over here last episode, but like, what about... Did I come down here? Yeah, I want to get to the East Forest. But I don't think there's a teleporter to get there. I really don't know what to do. The quarry, the West Garden... All right, let's just go back to the teleporter and see if there's anywhere else we can get to. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pretty lost here. Where is it? Over here. OK. 
Okay. Whoops. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else to teleport. And I can't come over here? Yeah. What is this one that's not finished? The ruined... Ru uh, the West Garden. Did I just not do that one? I guess we have to make our way to the West Garden ourselves. Oh, it sucks. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to do that. That's fine. I did not mean to teleport to that one. I just... Okay. Interesting. I'm going to come down here one more time. And I'm going to teleport around. And just see if I can get through that room without fighting those guys. And if we die, I'll just... We'll, we'll try to get to the West Garden or whatever. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I can get out of this room, guys. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be there. So I'm not gonna be there. Alright, let's try to get to the West Gardens ourselves, I guess. I don't really remember how we did that. But we'll figure it out. Maybe. Gardens. Yeah, I'd like to go to the gardens. What is this noise? Oh, it's that thing. All right. How do I get over there? This isn't where I want to be. We could check it out. We could check it out. Okay, we're not checking it out. Doesn't want us there. I think, I think our trophy might be here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that little guy. Mustache, round man. There's another one of those doors. Let me down there.
So with like this pattern on the left, it goes down, left, up, right, up, left. All right, I'll try it. A page. The Holy Cross. Okay, this is... Something's going on here. Uh, so on the left there, it looks like there's some... Some of these doors. The top one looks like the one we just went in. Yeah, okay. And then in this in this crevice on the right side here, you can see the directionality the 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 decode pattern to get in. Um which seems counterintuitive because I had to input that code to get in this door. So like if this was trying to give me a hint to get that to fig to help me figure that out, it's locked behind a door that I have to have the information on the page to get it figured out. Um, but it looks like there's some other pictures there of doors that we could open potentially with that code or something. Just keep talking about the Holy Cross, but I'm, th I'm thinking if you were to open all these doors or something, you would maybe get access to the Holy Cross or something of the sort. How... Give me the overworld map. I don't know where it was. But somehow, yeah, show me how we get to the West Garden. So right now, we're there. Okay, so it's, it's higher up here than I originally thought. Okay, to the West Garden. Is it possible that when we, like, grab these items from... And, like, restore our ghost form? Okay, so it does look like this is something we couldn't have traversed previously. Oh, dude, it's right here. So I'm wondering if when we do these, maybe some of the, like, the blight area or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure what that restored here. Hold on. Our defense. That's good. I would love to have um, our attack back. All right, so that's a little bit of progress for sure. Is there anything else even this direction that would be helpful? Whoops. I doubt it, honestly. I mean, we don't have the teleporter. Can I see where that is? Doesn't really show. All right, well, I am going to end the episode there because um, we're out of time. Um, but I might look around for the teleporter off screen for a little bit here, um, but I won't do anything else. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.